Hi, I'm Kristen Fordson, the International Space Station Program Stowage and Disposal Lead at the Johnson Space Center. Welcome to Mission Imagination. I'm very excited to be here today to talk to you about the disposal aspect of my job because really, I like talking trash. Do the astronauts generate the same type of trash we generate on the ground? The trash that's generated on the International Space Station is the same kind of trash that you would expect to be generated by your community and not just by your household. Things that you expect to end up in the trash, like microbial wipes, food wrappers, do end up in the trash. Other things you might not expect is dirty laundry. We don't have any washing machines on orbit, and so dirty clothes, dirty towels, socks, tennis shoes, those also end up in the trash. Hardware also ends up in the trash on the International Space Station, and that's because there's a lot of moving parts up there to keep all the systems running to keep Space Station working, and because the crew is doing a lot of experiments up there. So things that end up in the trash because of that include fans, filters, experiment pieces. Finally, what ultimately ends up in the trash? Human solid and liquid waste. How does waste management work on the International Space Station? Well, first of all, you have cargo ships that come and deliver cargo. They are the same ships that we use to get rid of the trash. Cargo ships come to the International Space Station about once every three or four months, which means you're gonna have three or four months of trash building up on the space station. That means that you have to have a designated area to stow the trash. After we unload cargo from the visiting vehicle, we then backfill it with trash. And once the vehicle is full of trash, we shut the hatch, unberth it from the International Space Station, and then it deorbits and burns up in the atmosphere. So next time you're wishing on a falling star, it might be falling trash. It's still science. What is the Stowage and Disposal Department doing to prepare for the future journey to Mars? We're having to relook at the whole way that we manage disposal. On a journey to Mars, the vehicle that launches is the only vehicle involved, which means once you launch and all the way on your trip to Mars, you're gonna be building up trash and you're gonna have to live with it. So this means that you need to figure out a space where you're gonna stow the trash so it doesn't get in the way of the rest of your stowage and you need to figure out a way to contain it so that it doesn't start to grow things or stink. Now it is time for you to put science, technology, engineering, and mathematics to work. Something we do at NASA every day. Good luck on challenge number two. Inspire, explore, engage. Mission Imagination. <laughs>